Alright guys, so I want to give uh, an update to my uh, water fast. I uh, went on a 20 day water fast and um, crashed and uh, went into kidney failure and everything else. So, first of all, with this video, this is not a pro water fasting video and it's not an anti water fasting video. Uh, let's just get that straight right now um, and tell you what I've learned from my water fasting and the do's and the don'ts. Um, so what happened was I plan on doing a 21 day water fasting and I actually thought about extending it to 28 maybe even 40 days and after day 20 physically I was fine I didn't need food but psychologically I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, the only thing I did right when I broke my water fast was I didn't eat processed foods. I didn't eat soda you know, hamburgers or any of the stuff that I would normally go to uh, for comfort food. I went to, um, I ate solid food. I ate, uh, got some flaxseed bread and put avocado on it and um, and I ate that. I ate peas. I had, and I ate way too much. Um, interestingly though, I didn't get sick afterwards and I think it's because I ate whole foods and I didn't eat um, I didn't eat like processed junk like hamburgers or something like that. So I did the right thing with that. Uh, and then the next day I ate regularly. I had I went to I went to a buffet, went to Gold Corral and had everything in sight minus bread, minus junk, minus soda. I was eating ham, I was eating uh, uh, fish, I was eating green beans, um, carrots, all whole foods, but you know and what was interesting about that was I never felt stuffed usually when I leave Gold Corral or Buffet and the reason is, is because I wasn't eating sugar I wasn't eating processed foods I was eating real foods so I thought you know I'm breaking this fast the wrong way but at least I'm not at least I'm not eating junk and then that evening I had something similar um, the next morning I took my daughter to uh, her soccer game I was going to go watch it, and I couldn't. My pain, the side of my, the side of my back felt worse than any kind of pain I have ever faced in my life. And I kept going to the bathroom, but I couldn't pee. Like I literally could not pee anymore. Um, and then eventually I stopped defecating as well. Like I couldn't do anything, one or two. Um. I thought that's strange. So my daughter's mom picked her up. I went home and I couldn't take any more. I went straight to the emergency room. I was like, you've got to do something. So they put an IV on me. They gave me some morphine for my pain. Um, they did a CT scan. They did a sonogram. And the first doctor said that he that he saw like a three three millimeter um, kidney stone in one of uh, I don't know what you would call it the the tube. He says, but it will pass. That's where the pain's from. And my creatine level is like 1.5. It's supposed to be a 0.5. And then, uh, so they gave me, you know, hydrocodons. And then they sent me on my way. So I didn't think anything about it. He's, but he said it'll pass. So Sunday goes along. And I'm not peeing at all, guys. I'm not peeing. The whole Sunday, I'm like, this is not normal. And then, and then I stopped defecating. And then on Monday still wasn't peeing. I'm like, this is not right. The pain was gone, but I wasn't peeing. So I went back to the emergency room and I told them. So they hooked me back up, took another CT scan, and uh, gave me, they're like, well, we don't know what it is. We don't see the stone anymore. Maybe it's not a stone. Um, and the only thing I was thinking of is, oh my God, I did my body damage by going on that water fasting. It was the water fasting is what did it. The water fasting is what put me in this position. By the way, that's not true. But I'll get to that in a second. Um, then they sent me to the hospital and, and they put a, a catheter in me. Into my uh, growing, into my penis. <laughs> and um, the worst pain you will ever imagine. Think, imagine having a tube stuck in there all the way in and they don't give you anything for it really it's like 
excruciating. It was almost as bad as the uh, side, the uh, kidney pain from kidney stones. So they did that, and they want to give give me another CT scan there right before they did. Well, actually, they they took me, gave me another CT scan. When I came back, I went to try to pee again, and I actually peed. I saw a little substance come out. And the nurse there, she's nice, but oh no, we still got to put. See, they took the catheter out there, and then they put it, re-put it back in at the hospital again. I'm like, oh my gosh. So they put it back in, and um, so I was there for two days. Trouble, side pain, flank pain, and um, pain like I never experienced before in my life. My creatine level got up to 8.5, which is kidney failure. That's when they put you on dialysis and the whole works. And um, all my levels were, were horrible for my kidneys. And so a urologist saw me and looked at all the tests, and then uh, and I think it's called a nephrologist. And when they came back, they said, it looks like you had two stones that came, went to both kidneys. That's the reason you weren't able to pee at all. Um, but fortunately, with the with the IV, they were they were putting fluid in me twenty four seven, and with the uh, catheter, I started releasing fluids, and I started. Well, I thought, well, maybe I was just de dehydrated. That's why my kidneys stopped. And I asked my doctor. I was like, you know, I was on a twenty one day water a twenty. He's like, what twenty day water fast? What? You no, know, no medical doctor would recommend that. They're like. He's like, well, he says, that might be the reason you created kidney stones is because you were dehydrated. And I'm like, okay. And long story short, after two days, my creatine level started going back to normal. Everything started going back to normal. The last time I checked, it was a 2.5. I've had it checked since. It's been two weeks since I've been out of the hospital. And I haven't gotten the results yet. That's sort of like how they are. They're slow on everything. Went through the nephrologist and... My feet were swell afterwards. My feet were swelling like balloons. It's really bad, and that's could be a cause of kidney failure. Um, but fortunately, when I got, they had me wear the, ca the the catheter in for like a week, and that they never could figure out the urologist that I went to after the hospital says, I can't understand why they would have you do that. But after they took it out, uh, my feet started going back to normal, and. So that's where we're at now. Um, my weight, as you guys know, I started my water fast at 300, and then I got down to like 265 um, at day 20. A lot of it, I'm sure, was water, right? But I'm sure a lot of it was fat. And um, now my weight's back to 290. So I've kept 10 pounds off. But, you know, probably fifteen thousand dollars in debt after my insurance takes care of everything my deductible is like twelve thousand um, being that it was out of network so after said and done do I blame the water fast for putting me in this position because water fasting caused kidney failure I'm almost a hundred percent confident that I would not have been in that position if I hadn't if 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 I had started, if I just ate regularly and didn't water fast, I don't think I would have had that issue. I don't think, I don't think I would have had kidney failure. I think it was partly because of the water fast. Now, is it possible that the water fast actually was doing its job in cleaning my body out, and those stones were just part of my body's process of cleaning my body out? Yes, I think that that's a possibility. I think my body was was doing its job and it was decalcific, decalcifying the calcium that was in my kidneys. You know, that's what it does is it cleanses you, it cleans you. The problem is, is that it knocks something loose that you know I had to have go to the doctor for. Why was it there in the first place? Because I've eaten like a pig my whole life. And I can let myself get up to 300 pounds and be unhealthy and have horrible nutrition that was hard on my kidneys, my heart, my organs, everything. That's on me. So that wasn't the water fasting fault. If uh, 
if I were a normal, healthy man, 160 pounds, took care of my body, you know, for 40 years and ate the right things and went on water fasting, would have done my body good and I'd not be put in this position? Most likely, yes. So it wasn't like it was. I'm not blaming the water fast on my health being bad or and going into kidney failure. I blame me for that. But the water fast just escalated it and it, it made it, you know, knock things loose and made it happen. Maybe I didn't drink enough water. I made one video about water fasting where I said, just drink when you feel, you know, like you need water. And that's what I thought I did. You know, I said that the body will create its own water through hydrogen and oxygen coming from the air. And it'll create and it'll create its own water and then just drink when you're thirsty. Well, I did that, but maybe I didn't drink enough because when you know when you eat, you're consuming a lot of liquids at the same time while you're eating. Okay? And I didn't, you know, so maybe I didn't drink enough water. Um and then some people would say, well, gosh darn it, you should have got off the water fast correct. You didn't get off of it correct. You went and you binge eat. You, you went and you ate junk why didn't, or food in general. Why didn't you just start on a juice? You know, Why did you do that to your body? Why did you put in shock and, and end your water fast on, uh, you know, like you should have? Very slowly because it could cause death. And to them I would say, Why didn't you tell me not to get up to 300 pounds? Why did you tell me I should have known better? Why did I get up to 300 pounds and, and, and not stay at a normal weight at 160? If you had told me that, I would have I would have never gotten to 300 pounds, right? You understand the joke with that, right? Of course, I know I should have gotten off the water fast correctly, but I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a food addict. I'm addicted to food. I binge eat. And so I wasn't mentally and emotionally, psychologically capable of doing that. Once I knew I could eat, I could not stop. I had to eat regular food. And so, yes, you're correct. I got off the water fast incorrectly. But you're not correct by saying I could have done that because if I could have done that, I would have never gotten up to 300 pounds in the first place. See what I'm saying? So when someone is obese and has food disorders like I have or someone else has, maybe they should go on a water fast because they're not capable of being disciplined enough to control it and to do it correctly. And I was not disciplined enough to do it correctly. So yes, I would say it is correct that if I had never went on a water fast, I don't think I would have gotten in this position where I had kidney failure. That is correct. But I will also say, if I had ended the water fast correctly and went straight to, to juice and maybe chicken broth or, you know, something very light with some mangoes over a week and did it correctly, then I don't think I also don't think I would have gone into kidney failure. So you see how that works? So I'm not saying yay or nay to the water fasting. I'm saying I, I messed up, guys. That's what I'm saying. And I'm the only person to blame. I don't blame water fasting in general because like I said in those videos, our ancestors went on water fastings, fasting for weeks, for months, not because they wanted to, but just because they had no other choice. There was no food in the environment. All right. And that our DNA is based on that. Our ancestors lived that way because they had to. So, and there are health benefits to it. I'm just saying with, with a food addict, when there was food around, and foods that I should not have been eating, solid foods, I did. So, that is the update, guys. Um, again, I made a video earlier about uh, about my financial problems now, being that um, I put myself in this position. And I know it's my fault. Um, but my PayPal link's below. If you can help me at all, there's been some people on here that have given me some PayPal donations, and let me tell you something, it's helped a lot. It's helped me buy medication. They've put me on uh, 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 one medication to help with the flow of my kidneys. Uh, there's another one that's supposed to prevent f uh, stones coming up here in the next, in the in the uh, near future, a few other things. And 
and then of course I got mounting medical bills. Um, this is after my my crazy deductible, but if you guys can help me with that, I appreciate it. If not, just share it or whatever. This journey is not over with, though. This journey is not over with. I am not done. Um, if you noticed in my videos, I was wearing the same clothing, same hat, same shorts, same shoes, and that will continue when I get back down to 266. Um, and I plan to get back down to my normal weight through a keto diet. I do believe in ketosis, uh, intermitting, you know, two weeks on and then two week, two days off to, to reset your body. Um, but I do plan to use this website or do to this site to continue to document that, and I'm not going anywhere. All right, thanks for watching.